Arts uh, giving philosophy is really around kids, peers, and community. And so um, this is very close to home, obviously, in terms of supporting the Thunder Bay Regional Health Sciences Center, in terms of all the good work that you're doing with cancer. And so we feel very strongly about this, this contribution. But I thought it would be important that you hear about the source of this contribution, because we feel so strongly about our employees and the contribution they make in the community and how much they care about the community. And this particular donation is very close to our district vice president, Jason Bacherko, um, and some of the care that his family received here. So I wanted to turn over to Jason to share a little bit around what this means to him and to CABC. Sure. Yeah, thank you very much, Kathleen. So, you know, when, when, I, when I was thinking about this particular donation, um, for, for me and one of my colleagues, it started about two and a half years ago. Um, for, and being from Thunder Bay, we wanted to do something significant to, uh, to support the hospital. And um, it was interesting, from the time that it started, these things take a little while, <laughs> but from the time that it, that it started to when, to, to now, yeah, absolutely, there was some, uh, you know, I went through, a, I guess, a personal journey where I was definitely touched by, by the, the care that I received from the, uh, from the hospital. Um, I mean, today, join, like, it's interesting, today, my, my uncle, who's actually here, he's actually staying in the uh, Tamarack house, which before we started doing this, I had no idea existed. And uh, it was very interesting for me. I came here on Monday just to talk about doing a little bit of planning for this, and I had an opportunity to, to go there, and it was like he's staying in a hotel. And his son, he's from Red Rock, so his son gets to come down and stay with him while he's going through his chemotherapy. And um, I guess for me, though, the biggest, the biggest impact it had for me personally was about, I guess it would have been uh, about 10 months ago now, where um, my, my mother, uh, she, we found out that she was diagnosed with cancer. So, you know, we had started this journey a long time ago, but in, I guess, yeah. We, I, I spent a significant amount of time here. Let me just say I was here almost every single day uh, with my dad, who's actually here today too. Uh, we spent uh, time every single day visiting my mom, and I got a first-hand opportunity to see the amazing care that, uh, that, that this hospital provides to their patients. And uh, it's, 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 it was fitting, um, I would say, that, um, you know, the night, it was, it was a Tuesday night, and I got a call from Jacqueline, and she was excited to tell me, it was about 5 o'clock, and she was excited to tell me, she said, Jason, I got great news, um, you're, the, the, you know, the donation that you've been working on for $50,000 has been approved, and uh, I happened to be sitting beside my mother, and um, so I, I said to her, I'm like, she really does it. You know how mothers can be sometimes. I don't know, but, <laughs> but she, she didn't know exactly what I did. But I said, Mom, I got $50,000 approved for the hospital. And she said, I'm so proud of you, son. I said, that's great. And that turned out to be the last conversation I had with my mom because she passed away that night. And then I went out of, you know, and I went out of town and I came back. And that was the last thing that I had the opportunity to, to share with her. That we got $50,000 approved. And uh, this hospital was just absolutely amazing to her. And it made, uh, you know, the end of her life as, as, you know, as, as, as comfortable as it can be, so, um, yeah, it definitely has personal meaning, so. With that, I just wanted to, uh, to present this check for $50,000 to the Exceptional Cancer Care Company.